Dive. Say three, two, one. Set it. Live. We are live with double, double toil and trouble. Fire burning cauldron bubble. Fillet a finny snake in the cauldron boil and bake. Eye of newt and toe a frog. Will a bat and tongue a dog? Adder's fork, blind woman's sting. Lizard's <laughs> leg and allet's wine. For a charm of powerful trouble like hell broth boil and bubble. <laughs> Double, double, toil and trouble. Yes. Oh, there's so much more. Scale of dragon. Wow. Yeah. Tooth of wolf. Well, it would Which really be nice nothing. if we knew what we were what? doing here first. You're reading this, dude. Wait, I don't well, do it this way. You're changing my whole balance of my life with this program. That's the way dorks, dork nah, things happen. Perhaps that's the way you do it. This is the, oh, the table. Yeah. Well, this is the yes. Table. And I'm Flash, and you're not. I'm not. It's not. That's uh, that's part of Butter. what we got. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we're at the table, and I was uh, frothing up some frothy brew of uh, coffee. And it comes from uh, the far lands of other places. Amora. I know. Well, let me come back the, over here. Then you went all William Shakespeare. All over us. Well, you called you called me Shakespeare, and I was boiling some coffee. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, and your good friend Hansel, ah, yeah. the strudel thief. Hansel. Yes, he saw <laughs> that. Uh, He's so he, subtle. He thought I might one of these co coffee, whatever you call them, coffee yeah. presses or something. If, you, if you're not, yeah, I like boiled coffee. That's the way to make it, cowboy coffee. But Vincent, if, sure. if, you're, if you're not careful, people will mm. say they're. In you're in love. Delicious. Delicious. Absolutely. Uh, anyway, so we got a 9.22 and 2.01 and 8 today. And it's a dork table. And that's <laughs> that's the other dork that does this crap. Now, I guess you've replaced Mary officially. I think no, I Mary haven't. has grown out. Of, well, I'd do it myself. But, yeah, I think Mary's grown out of the dork table. She's far too, oh, she's, yeah, she's far too superior to the mental levels that we steep to, to, you know, to crack a joke at this table. I think she surpassed it. and It's gone on to greener greener properties. You know what I mean? Ah, ah, ah. Is it fenced in or fenced out? Are you fucking kidding? We're here? Where we got no boundaries. The only boundary at the dork table is your imagination. Oh, I said nation. <laughs> Who knew? Good for you. Mental pancakes. Okay. You pancakes must, has arrived. You must do these. To see, I'm like a I'm like a dork with a tick. You know, do things out of order, and I and I go on tilt, and my tumor starts to bleed. So say hey to everybody at the. Uh, R L M, but not the R L M N O P, but the R L O. Hello, <laughs> Hello everybody. Uh, I I'm over here uh, at reallibertymedia.com forward slash channels forward slash chat page one dot php, and uh, you can come along and join the chat if you're catching this downstream somewhere in the arch and we'll say hi to everybody that's here now at reallibertymedia.com rlmradio.xyz barman at the top our mighty faithful bot and uh, some say slave to Grimner and yeah. cowboy tech and hello miss kate there's our administrators tuning in right now along with phantom at the top with asmo Stop and beth z she's been joining us this morning and we're having some uh Cannabis conversations, uh, including the hip variety. Smoky, and smoky. Smoky dokey, yes. And I am prepared uh, for all 420 events today. Hello, Chloe. And uh, she's not listening because this is uh, not Potty a workplace mouth friendly central. Take your children and go shopping. Leave now. Don't hesitate. Yes, we'll be contrasting good and evil today. And uh, I have a pen ready to take marks. And we're going to, uh, I'm foregoing the mm. dong because mm. the dong I used last week was my coffee pot that I boil that said coffee in. 
we'll we'll make some strikes here, and we're going to take account mm. of uh, some of the deeds exhibited. So uh, along came uh, D.C. and not the district. Don. 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 Da don. 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 He has no speakers, so he's not Dakota. listening. <laughs> hey, Dakota. Dork and pancakes. our favorite mental pancakes. Absolutely. Dork. Oh, Dork for from the, day. the far reaches of the faraway land known as somewhere in America, mental pancakes. Yay. Yeah. And flash somebody. That's Who me. is this guy? I don't know. I hear he's he's a crazy person. No. Is it true? No. Are you sane? No. Why be normal? I don't know. Every time I use Bruh. the term normal, somebody corrects me anyway. Yeah. I just can't win in this electronic world. Ooh. Hi, Frumpy. He has a, a full proof a plan for the gardener. Yeah, but we still blame Canada. They suck, anyways. That's why we have so many tornadoes here in the Americas. Oh, that's what I heard. Oh, oh yeah. Hello, Miss Mary. There's uh, our Gramsci. Gramsci. I would like a gram of Z, please. <laughs> we don't serve that uh, in this here bar. No dong today. That's right, Grimner. Mm. Just the dings. Ding, dong, bell. Uh, Hello. King oh. Dong, Vinny. So we're, we're at Gromit and I be Don C or I be D on C. Wow. I think he's on crack. I think he's on the crack. It's looking he, interesting, yeah. sir. Yeah, he traded his speakers for crack. Oh. Hmm. And Why, Java Doctor. Uh, Hello, Java. Java. Hey, another. Yeah, see? Java Doctor. Java the Han. Ha! Not the Han, though. Huh? There's Judge Dredd. Do you think he's listening to us right now? I hope he says, not. He, he, he says he just cannot listen to your potty mouth. He's mail. like a slinky. He just needs to find a staircase to go play on. Slinky, slinky. You remember, you old toy. bastard, you. Slinky, ah, slinky. Wasn't that a spring? Ha! Here, let's sell these ha. dumbasses springs. Get them ready for the factories. Woo! Cha -cha. Look, it's stretches. <laughs> Jays, nines, Jays. Are you? It is today, huh? 59? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You're fi at 8 it's 20, your birthday. At 820. Happy PM. birthday to you. Pacific Standard. Happy birthday to you. Thanks, Your flashes. Yeah. No, Yay. Yeah, today. You know what my mom used to do? Yeah. All her children, she'd call them on their birthday yeah. and sing happy birthday. Oh, well, I don't have that luxury no more. Nor do I. So, now you get to do it, but I'm not calling your mom. <laughs> you can call me, uh, well, there's so many Vinnies. Take your pick. Mm. JJ's 99. Nine. Mm -hmm. JJ's mm -hmm. S. He's, uh, he's over there across the waves. What a uh, Want a taco? Do you want a taco? No. Okay. Kozu. 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 Kozu, Kozu. Hmm. Layer eight. Hey, look. Woody's here. I uh, can read. I've been cured. You think he's listening? I, don't I think know. he's. He's maybe. I don't know. He might be he's hung trying to over catch and, rain. and pissing and He's not about. hung over today. He said no alcohol uh -oh. last night. That's, that's yeah, interesting. He slept like a rock. Yeah, very interesting. Probably scary. Wouldn't it? A sober. I don't know. Meister, Meister, M-Y. I, I don't care. I what do you do with no all these concern. boxes? Do you put them in a box? Do we, you we might boxify have them? Can you call them on the phone? Mm -hmm. Can you cover them in pawn sauce or rain? I thought it was pawn sauce. Because Grim says it one way and we, uh, the rest of us say it a different way. Pawn? Yeah, yeah, or prawn. If there was an R and an A in there. Yeah, but there but ain't no evidence. fucking vowel there, Johnny. It, you just got to use your damn imagination. Quit doing what people tell you. 
There's one. Others, so I'm, I'm not even going to try to keep up with them. There's no the prawn. first one at 10 or uh, yeah, 1108 Central, uh -huh. 1109. What about rain? Mark. Mark. Uh, yeah, covered in rain. And Miss <gasps> oh. RLL, Miss mm -hmm. RLM, a fluke. Oh. What a girl. What a gal. I tell you. <sighs> She's as good as Vanna White any day. Oh, yes. You have no idea. Scubo. Bubbler. You know, Scubo. Bubbler man. That's right. Oh, Rob, Rob, Rob works. works, the ambassador of the bubbler. And there's a friend of uh, Jim Hansen. Hmm. Sock, Sock. it. Quack, quack, yeah. Quack, 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 quack. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, what, what's his name? Froggy? What's, it, what's his Kermit name? Kermit the Frog. That's him. Yes. Uh, yeah. Kermit. What about you, uh, yeah, big but uh, Kermit here. Hmm? Would uh, Would you care to uh, share your experiences with uh, Jim Henson and uh, putting the whole effect in making you do the things that you do? No. Okay. Skittle! <laughs> Taste the flavor. Trust number one. And Who's that? Vinny Rome. and Vinny the Slash. Oh, you know, I'm here all by myself today. Just me. Only one Vinny. Huh. Ah, you've fallen down on the job, man. What's wrong well, with you? Are you broken? No. Are so, you sure? not even a, a trade name for today. Not a new Vinny. Uh -oh. Maybe it'll come along. Well, but no, I think you've given it to me. Vinny mm -hmm. uh, Fake and Spear, right? No, I said Fake uh, Spear. Fake Spear. That's it. Not Shakespeare. Vinny fake yeah. Spear. Fake Spear. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because you were doing that Shakespeare <laughs> shit at the beginning of the show. Well, no, you gave me the name before. And well, you were doing it. I pulled a link. Show you. And uh, I it do happened speak to be English. of Shakespeare. Yeah. So, therefore, I will be Vinny Shakespeare uh, today. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me tell you a little bit more about this uh, special brew. Pro it contains, skill, it contains skill of dragon and tooth of wolf, which is mummy, maw, and gulf of the raven. Raven, salt, sea shark, root of hemlock, digged in the dark. Liver of blasphemy, Jew. Ha, we got that from you. Gall of You're goat welcome. and slippery you. Slivered in the moon's eclipse. Nose of Turk and Tartar's lips. Finger of birch strangled babe. It's delivered by a drab. Make the gruel thick and slab and there... To a tiger's cauldron for the ingredients of our cauldron. Double, double toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. Cool it with the baboon's blood, and then the charm is firm and good. This poem is in the public domain. Hmm. Thank you. Uh, Vinny Shakespeare, also known <laughs> as the paraphrase <laughs> plagiarist, <laughs> with a with a ponder gander. Did you know Will was uh, born in 1564? Coincidentally, that is exactly mm. 400 years before I, the year I was born. Did you he know, died in 1616. Did, 16, you, did you know that his work would have been forgotten completely, but it was brought to the front of theater by a group of uh, actors and people that did theater? And they made really? him famous. Yeah, his shit was all but lost. And some mm. off-the-wall fucking retards like us, they said, hey, this shit's pretty good. Let's Watch do him. this. Yeah. True. And here we are, number. 400 years later, going, hey, it's a Vinny day. Ooh, yeah, cha-cha-cha. Don't you love it? I like the way that you, no matter what the situation is, you make it all about you. It's just coincidence. I mean, you're the kind of guy that could go to an abortion clinic and have the women crying because you're suffering. <laughs> it's just, I don't know how you pull this shit it, off. It's, it's happened before. You're being stalked by fucking Hans Dietrich on the RLM. Are three. you kidding me? Three. There's you, three. You, sir, you, you must be like magic or something. What is it? Uh, Do you put sparkles in your coffee so people will like be drawn to you, sir? Do you believe in magic? No. Not at all. What uh what is uh what is Hans saying about I me? Believe I believe I see nothing. 
Oh, I blocked I him. I can't. I, I know I nothing. Can't his shit. Are you insane? Man, Ugh. that is so weak. I just got blocked oh. again by MD Louder. Really? On the Twitter. Yes. Oh, yes. too bad, my friend. Um, but then look at the I just don't side. understand why people refuse to, uh, you know, be part of a, a conversation, you know, really taking a look and, and not just argue. But most yeah, people yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Argue. No, just throwing the shit at the wall gets old after a while. So fuck them. Anyway, hey, you know what? Be glad. Don't t- take that frown and turn it upside down, mister. Because the guy that's blocking you is doing you a big favor, but now you're paying all your attention to the idiot that blocks you. Shut up. No, that's, Grow that's, up, uh, you big baby! She's, she's a big player out there. Uh, oh, it's the a Buck she. Guys. Oh, now I see why you're getting so interested. Hey, uh, hold on a minute. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go refill him and mute this and step away. <laughs> I'll be right back. Well, he'll no, be right hey, back. Hey, hey, hey. No F while I'm swallowing. Oh, shut up. Please. I'll do it. I because... damn way up. Go, go, hey, get, get. Hey, hey. Coffee, coffee, hey, ho- coffee. Hey. <laughs> if you do, let me know how many times because yeah. I've got a list. Going I'm going to describe the new game that I've created during the week since Tuesday right. while you're gone. I want to figure out a way for me and Vinny because uh, the, the products here are all in Danish, so I can't do this on my side, but I could do it with the Internet link. And I want to get certain things like maybe, say, a candy bar uh, a bottle of deodorant and some, you know, cleaning fluid. And all we're going to have three things. And all you have to decide is the ingredients. So you name the ingredients. Would you eat this? <laughs> and see just off what, what our knowledge is of ingredients, if the other person is in tune enough to know what's poison and how much poison is legal and all that kind of shit so you know what you're eating. It may be an interesting 10 or 20 minutes on the dork table with my good friend, Vinny Fakespear. Then again, we we try and fail at the dork table. It's called trying. Oh, so what I said, Vinny, was uh, I want to do a game with you about ingredients in products. You know what I mean? Mm. And we get the same exact ah. ingredient. Uh, like a product listing of what's in it and the other guy has to decide if they would try to try to eat that or not and it could be anything it could be drain cleaner to a chocolate bar anything in the in the middle and all you have to choose from is from the ingredients that are in the package wow uh, i haven't scary. perfected it yet but i've thought okay. about it okay well uh, here's a Here's a, a bag of potato chips. See what I mean? And if you was just to read the ingredients on the side of the bag out loud <laughs> to somebody else that can't see what it is you're reading, that, hey, that sounds disgusting. I ain't eating that. And it's, hey, this is potato chips, you fucking idiot. Well, wait just a minute. Ding. Let's take a look at this. Here, we'll start this game. Take a moment to relax and unwind with Lay's Kettle Cooked Chips. Our chips are kettle cooked in small batches. So you get the perfect crunch in every bite with the satisfying blend of delicious sea salt and tangy vinegar. These mouthwatering chips are ready for your enjoyment. Now let's take a look inside, shall we? Uh, it's empty. Wait, my, who ate my chips, man? So, yeah, but hey, I bet you. Should have yeah, read the just can't eat one. Not my the, ass. Eat them all. Not what? The, not the advertising, you monkey. The the ingredients of what is hey. in the bag. Listen, without well, proper well. propaganda, there's no way you can ever possibly hope to understand what truly lies within. Well, I wonder what actually sells most of this crap. The the flashy colors or. What you know? What is it in our heads that we've seen a hundred thousand times? And you got to have that bag of chips, even though you know you don't need them; they're not good for you, but you buy them. What the fuck? Okay. Well, then the first ingredient and whatever's at the top is what the, contains the most, the most of. of. Yeah. And surprisingly, right. it contains potatoes. Uh, oh, grown but, where? Uh, we'd have to look up that a little deeper, but it doesn't say on here. Vegetable oil, that's uh, sunflower. We got the Canadian rapeseed oil, uh, otherwise known as uh, canola, and <laughs> or 
corn oil, sea salt and vinegar, seasoning. That's a, a maltodextrin that's made from corn and sea salt, vinegar, buttermilk, lactose, sugar, dextrose, yeast extract, citric acid, and sunflower or, uh, oil contains milk ingredients. And I would assume that that comes in. The flavor of butter. <laughs> milk and, yeah, milk ingredients. Yeah. They scrape it. Uh, they scrape that stuff off the hoof of the cow. So it's technically it's a dairy product, but mm, maybe not. Very good. <laughs> Frito Lay. Canola oil. Really. www.lays.com. Thank you. And the ingredients are uh, guaranteed fresh. And if you have any questions or comments, please call Flash at one eight hundred. Three five two forty four seventy seven. Yeah, get my complaint department. Because <laughs> you know how the Jews handle their complaints, right? No. We just have you bombed. It's the way it is. Uh, and they get away with it. Well, we, they, ah, I'm, I'm moody about the Jews. Moosey. Moosey. The just, moose is loose. Yeah. She's going to get an RV. Yeah. She just popped We're in. going to have the, the moose uh, on the uh, loose in a to go RV. Well, isn't that frightening? Well, there you go. I don't know what to say to that. She's not done it yet, right? Okay, maybe. Oh, you're typing and stuff. Hey, get into the moment, Vincent. In the moment. I'm in my Not coffee. the future, not the past. The right now, my friend. Today. Ah. Oh, yeah. That's really good. <clears throat> I got it, uh, and I never do this stuff. Uh, it's called the uh, Vigorosi blend. Yeah. Uh, well, finely I, ground, boldly roasted. Uh, I got, I got it for one for penny. Ah. I got it for a penny. The the chips? No, the uh, coffee, the Amarosa. Wait a minute. Let me, How uh, did you get Amarosa coffee for a penny? Um, one of these little things where they sign you up for uh, shipment. So... Uh, the uh, automatic the shipment, uh, which I canceled, of course, um, was set to ship four bags at fifteen bucks a piece. And uh, but I did get a silver plated a scoop oh, for I free. See. Okay, but I see Rob words. I would is have misunderstanding our presentation. See, he th thought it was some kind of a commercial. We we did that wrong. But oh, I yeah. think well, I got the idea from listening to Mary a long time ago. She was reading the uh, ingredients on some medical thing that women are expected to inoculate themselves with or whatever and boy when you hear the shit that's in it you know they got everything in there from mercury to penguin cum and everything in between and she was like oh so i started to think about that and if we were left to choose what we ate based off the ingredients not the advertising i wonder what we got what we would eat well this is 100% Arabica coffee. That's what the ingredients say. Sour, How does that grab you? Sauerkraut pierogies are for Pollocks. What's wrong with you, dork cakes? Pierog I think pierogies. I, are, yeah, it's a Eastern Bloc Russian kind of uh, food. I forget what I they are, that. but I, I had a Pollock friend that used to always lie with miss my pierogies because we lived in uh, L.A. somewhere. So they don't make pierogies well, in LA. When we were there, we couldn't. Wasn't like you go to the pierogi shop in the corner of Sixth on Broadway. So we failed to uh, announce the 420 event. I didn't fail to do shit. I was lighting up the whole time. You're the one that keeps a clock. I you have, failed to announce it. Don't have, argue with me, Mister. I've denounced time. I do not recognize it anymore. It's, That's it's all I do. Nope. I'm old now. I can decide these things. Uh, it uh, has to do with climate time change. In your sick mind, maybe. In mine, it's all a big game. All a bunch of bullshit. Like that I was telling you last week, and you probably didn't pay attention then, some people on this planet can do whatever the fuck they want, whenever they There's fucking one. want, and nobody Three. will do anything about it, ever. Those are five. my people, because I'd rather win five this than lose. What? Five. What? Five. Five. Uh, yeah. What, five. What, what? 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 Nothing. I'm making a list. Of what? Oh, thank you. Nice 
Oh, he's uh, drinking the Al Qaeda coffee. The poisoned coffee that goes right to your spinal cord and puts you into a wheelchair. Mm. Tasty. Hey, I wonder if the spies got shit like that. You know, put a little of this shit in your coffee, you can't walk anymore. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. Science fiction is very entertaining, Mr. Vincent. You believe half of what you hear or more than half of what you hear? Most of what I hear. Do you believe that uh, your your cunt tree is twenty trillion dollars in the debt to the Rothschilds? I, I don't know. Somebody don't get the message. If I answer that phone, it'll hang up my internet. Uh oh. So. Well, if you if you do that, I'll call you back. I will well, forgive you. Let's see how persistent they are. If, if they call one more time, maybe I'll answer. Yeah. If I hang up on you three times in a row, yeah, that should uh, probably say. Uh, maybe you can't take the call right now. Hey, if you hang up three times in a row, hey, that might be like a record. How, what's your record for hanging up on somebody? Do you have one? I am. Um, no, actually, I guess I don't. Uh, mine is once. It's all it takes. Oh, uh, I is, know how to uh, say goodbye. Goodbye. Probably how many times I've been hung up on. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I didn't know there was a number to explain that one. <laughs> Common Core is born. Hey, do you know anything at all about that Common Core crap except for the rumors or whatever you've seen on the internet? Yeah, that's about all I know. Do you got is any that... real experience with it? I mean, I don't know. This all came around long after I was way past school. And the people I associated with in a school didn't go to grammar school. So uh, it's all just a story to me. I don't know anyone that's ever taken it in school or applied it in life, but I keep hearing Common Core all the time, still, over and well, over and over, like a chant. It, uh, it started, I think, uh, they, one of the first places they kicked it off was here in Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you could get an extra sandwich at lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the go to the Common Core class. Get a free sandwich, you know, like an inoculation. Yeah, we'll give you five more dollars if you get a flu shot. Get five dollars in groceries. <laughs> Never mind. Well, you know that translates to right. What do they call that when uh, they give you the shit so that you can't have kids anymore? Steri uh, sterilization. No, no. Ster get sterilized and get a free gallon of milk. Would you do it? Fuck no! I wouldn't get an inoculation on purpose and for nothing. Six. You're doing pretty good today. Oh, you are writing it down with the pen. Yes. Did you get your neighbors pissed off with your little bell the other night? (laughs) (laughs) No, they don't. They don't live close (laughs) enough to hear it. Oh, oh! You could just still hear the the ringing in your head, so you figured it wasn't a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, something just hit my roof. I wonder if they're whacking golf balls hey, down there. Vincent, the other day what? I was ah, the other day I was sitting here thinking to myself, and I said, "Self, did you did know that hurt? staying young is an unnatural concept?" And myself said, "What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Go talk to Vinny." And then what'd you say? I, I, no, actually, I was just saying, I, I really starting to think from looking at all these years of life and all that, staying young is an unnatural state of being. It's manufactured by the man. What if you were never meant to grow old? Then you'll be dead and you wouldn't even fucking know it. Why? Dang! How's that? Dead people don't seem to be doing a lot of talking these days, Mr. Vincenzo. Yeah, I only seem to be hearing from the live people about the dead people. Live people seem to have lots of opinion about dead people and what dead people think. <laughs> I don't think most of the live people know what they're thinking, let alone what the dead people thought. I think we're being lied to by a lot of people. What's your favorite lie? Um, that we were actually doing a commercial, Rob Works. 
Oh, for the potato chip industry. Yeah, yes. We're getting paid. Uh, oh, so for yeah. every Yes, sir. Every like that we get on <laughs> YouTube, YouTube. Uh, we get one-tenth of one percent of one wow. penny. Wow. We're, We're going to get rich, rich, I tell you. Five or six hundred <laughs> years. Hey, remember when the banks used to pay us interest? Ooh, the good old days. Uh -huh. Wow. Yeah, back when you put a thousand dollar CD in, get six percent, and go get you a loan, three percent against it, and uh, or vice versa. Yeah, I think it's three percent paying six percent, and that's uh, uh that's how. Yeah, that was a little trick I uh, discovered to uh, build up good credit. Then go cash your CD in, pay off your loan, and uh, then just build it up. Yeah. I've got good news and I've got bad news. Um, I like the good bad news. Well, the good news is he tried to, and the bad news is Grimner does not exist. Why doesn't he? I don't know. He wrote, I don't exist. I don't he believe even him. even confused Dork Cakes. <laughs> Dork Cakes is confused. No. Oh, there he is. Okay. He typed in we and got nothing. It was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Ooh, then he, he had to do it again. See, this so, stuff this stuff is even if, hard for the, you guys to do. Ha! If uh if Barman was not there to post the weather, would Grimner really exist? No. That's not Shakespeare, man. It's kind of like Schrodinger's cat meets uh, would, the Incredible Hulk. Would he be or not to be? I don't know. Let's ask Hansel. Ben, he knows everything. No. Oh, Hansel. come on. You got to ask Vinny Fakespeare. Oh, Vinny Fakespeare, the See, man that about knows me again. Everybody. Remember? Hey, let's play that. You you might you might find this hard to believe, but I think you would make a good uh experiment in feeding the human ego. Because okay. uh, let's Yeah, let's it. get get into the do's and don'ts of feeding the ego. I threatened to the other day. Yeah, I seen that. I, I thought it was clever. Very yes, I like to shave my slices very thin. You need it sparingly. No, you don't. Yes, you because when you are glutton, uh, you smother it in Vinny Extra and you shove it under everybody's plate and go eat, 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 eat. No, I just put it at the table. You don't have to eat it. <laughs> you are as subtle as the train wreck, my friend. Well, <laughs> I I think uh, the results were profound. And uh, according to scientists that uh, just gave octopuses ecstasy for the very yeah, first time. I read about that earlier today. That was kind of interesting. Wow. Because, well, and they based it off an interesting idea, right? Because the octopus, the octopus is so opposite of our body system, but yet they have a brain and each leg is uh, operated by itself from, from whatever main source of intelligence it has. Each leg is individual, thinking-wise. But I went, ah, that's enough. I ain't going to get high with you no know, octopuses, and I gave up reading the rest of it. <sighs> I know, huh? I gave it up. Gave but, it up. Yeah, well, For well octopuses are kind of an interesting animal. Have you ever eaten an octopus? No, but I have, really? no, uh, I have a lot of friends. They're that, like A lot of rubber, friends that uh, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, mm, I used to make fun of calamari. I will get you a bag of freeze-dried calamari. And deliver it to your house because it smells so bad. Oh, good God. I used to eat sushi I think once my, a week. I think my wife eats stuff like that. I'm not sure, but not, not here at home because it doesn't, you know, she compromises with me. I've got a very sensitive side to, you know, squishy food that smells like feet. What I was nice about by, that one. Huh. What, is, what does he mean by this? Uh, I don't know. My temp is, that's Dork Cakes, me sick. 59. Am I? Huh. Yeah, what? What am I, I missing? Oh, percent. Me sick. Me sick. What is me sick? Moose girl. What is me Moose girl? Me sick, moose girl? I must be. At, I Well, I blocked what's his name, so I don't have to read his crap anymore. So it's probably got something to do with hands. Or I can't make sense of it. But anyway, what were we? You know what else? I get a big 
big fucking giggle out of about the political <laughs> system right now. Nine. Is the last couple of years is every time something doesn't go somebody's way, they suddenly remember a trauma from their childhood when somebody molested them. Yeah, that's uh, that's what uh, Froggy there, Kermit, he didn't want to talk about it. That's a hard voice to do. Uh, in the first oh, yeah, place. so yeah, Calam Calamari and Squid? Yeah, Calamari and Squid, true? yeah. What do you call octopus? Squid. No. Then Google or check or research no. or do whatever no. you want. I'm telling you what I fucking no. been saying my whole damn adult life stuff. So I've been <laughs> saying it wrong because Vinny don't like it. Fuck you, Vinny. I didn't know you until the radio. Eleven. So stay out of my restaurants, man. You're going to kill my squid business. Anyway, I think staying young is an unnatural way for a grown human life form to behave. I have spoken. What do you think of that? Mm, nothing. Now what? Uh, uh, well, I don't see anything wrong with staying healthy or staying fit. Or, you know, some other obsession that a person would have. But that staying young thing, I've been thinking about that one a little bit this week. And I was thinking, man, I'm glad I, glad I grew up and I'm not a little kid anymore, man. And well, other, people, can... other people seem as though they want to stay little children forever. They don't ever want to grow up. Well, I can tell you this. I can tell you why you've been thinking about that all week. And would because, you please? And because today's your birthday, you're seeing your uh, mortality. Oh, I came and to so terms tried, with that. Now I tried, came to, came to terms with mortality in '78. No, 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 no. Yeah, nah, nah, but it becomes more real when you start getting old. Next year you're going to be six. <laughs> That's a big number. You know, it's, to you maybe I don't know. To me, not so much. Yeah, just enough. How long do you? How long do you expect to, to live? Do you, do you I feel have, like you're going to live to be an old man? I mean, an Cirque, older man? Cirque says she, she's going to get 30 years out of me, and we're four. <laughs> so that's a long <laughs> fucking way, man. I got a 26 years on my sentence to still go. <laughs> and odd side about life is if you look at shit as in terms of it's a sentence and you have to do it, it happens. <laughs> I'm getting out tomorrow. <laughs> and they keep you another four or five days. No, there was a problem in administration. You're not going anywhere, white boy. That was cop talk. I thought you'd be familiar yes. with it, Mr. Convict. Uh, yeah, I was actually recalling the story, but then I was afraid. Ah, oh, he's get You'd say, "Oh, he's making it about Vinny again." Hey, you know what? Should we call our our pro, pro, our game for the future? I want to call it "Would You Eat Me." No. <laughs> No, you don't like that name. <laughs> I thought it would be cool because you, you, we'd both have a list of ingredients and the product, and we'd know what it was. But the people listening, all they'd know is that we're, they know the ingredients we're reading. Well, what's monodextrose? Oh, uh, Christ. See, I need, a, I need to go into the, the research to define all that stuff. No, don't you know. don't. Look, look, I do. Look. Wait, let me make sure this spell. No, I want to oh. prove to you. Okay. How you do this? Let me just check the spelling real quick here. Oh, monodextrin. I'm sorry. Maltodextrin. Let's Malto. see what this is. I don't know. I know what malto means. Hold on. Is. Malto. Here we go. Let's see what uh, let's see what bar barman tells us. It know. is uh, maltodextrin is a white powder made from corn, rice, potato starch, or wheat. Even though it comes from I'll have to open this in a new window. Hold on just a second. Uh, Healthline.com, health, uh, food, nutrition, is uh, maltodextrin uh, bad for me? And uh, as that opens up, what what do you think it is? Malto, so you say like malto Oh, I'd have to take a guess. Yeah. And dextrin, so two words together. Who is this guy? McCarthy made us, sent me a friend request in 98 other New notifications on Facebook. I hardly ever open Facebook much anymore. Uh-oh. Rob Works Software. doesn't like our topic. He's throwing a new topic at us. Oh, how mean. Uh, well, we'll come back to that. Let me uh, let me scroll, uh, let me scuba myself on down here. Oh, yeah. Rob Works. Very good. Very good. What, what do you say? 
Oh, he just threw up a link about uh, glam glamification of dot hot. I don't know something different. The mm. ga the gamification of tyranny. You know, he's a very politically minded fellow. That Mister Rob works. You know, you know who knows the most about the Bible. Who? <laughs> most of the time, not hundred percent, just the majority of the time, the atheist that was a religious person and said no. I'm not doing this no more. But the funny thing, I'm not ragging on your religion thing. I'm just saying the funny thing about it is they never forget their, their book. They carry it into their future, but they open the door by, I don't believe in this shit. Now sit down and I'm going to tell you everything about it. <laughs> so I get a little confused. You know what I mean? People deliver the <clears throat> message in the very strange ways. It sounds almost like fucking English is very hard to understand. Oh, Ooh, you people with your there damn English. Twelve. Okay. Oh, don't encourage him to open. Ah, come on, Grimner, let him go, please. Hold, hold, hold on. Is we we you. can't open something else until we go through this. So maltodextrin. Oh. Yeah, maltodextrin. Do you, do you read nutrition labels? Well, of course we do. That's the name of the, our game here. Before oh, before you buy, do you do you read it before you buy it? How do you mean? Do, do you, I read it before? Yeah, I buy? Do, you, do you read the ingredients label of before you of buy what? something? On on the food, no, I know what food and <clears throat> you know uh, sauces and whatnot. I don't read any of the salt, pepper. Uh, no, I don't read any of the labels. That's what I'm saying. No. Is if oh, you, you should, if you buy you a product at, and then you go and you read the freaking label to see what's inside that product and then you break those things down and find out what they are, you'll find out that, boy, some of the shit they're feeding us is not good for us. But it's legal. See, oh, well, this this amount in your body won't, well, over a period of years, it will definitely do the job. They just don't tell you that part. Daily recommended allowances. Yeah, daily one day out of, say, say, 30 or 40 years, you can have a little bit of, uh, what do they call that shit? Mercury. <laughs> and even that'll kill you. So, because hmm, the government knows how to cut shit down into such small, fucking tiny little pieces that it takes years for it to accumulate enough to do the damage that will kill you. You know, they say, uh, what doesn't kill you make you stronger? Eventually, you're going to go. Like you said about Except me. Except for bears. Bears bears are going to kill you. Well, it's still, I've got a limited amount. I mean, I'm not going to be here for How many 59. bears? You have, you have bears? Bears. Yes. No. Why, uh, where okay. do you get such weird ideas? <laughs> well, oh. I said bears will kill you, and you said you had something. Anyways, let's talk about this just for a second. How is multidextra made? I don't know. I don't know what it, it is. It is. It's a white powder made from cocaine. No, corn, corn. A rice, yeah, 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 yeah. potato, starch, or wheat. Uh, and even that? though it comes from plants, it's highly processed. To make it, first the starches are cooked, and the amino acids or enzymes such as heat-stable bacteria, alpha uh, aminolase, are added to break it down further. The resulting white powder is water-soluble and has a neutral taste. Uh, maltodextrins are closely related to corn syrup solids, with the one difference being their sugar content. Both undergo hydrolysis, a uh, chemical process involving uh, the addition to water of water to further assist breakdown. Um, hydrolysis uh, after, however, it says uh, after hydrolysis, uh, corn syrup solids are at least 20% sugar, while uh, Monodextrin is less than 20%. So is it safe? Who knows? I would bet not. Okay. Anything. So highly processed, right? And my argument goes deeper than that, and it goes back to the delivery of the electricity. Hey, hey, baby. That's what I learned from Larry. That was the, the most important thing I picked up from him. And... It opened up the information to the other stuff. Well, if even if I eat a good product, my body is tuned into eating crap. So the, the little bit of good I'm going to get from an occasional good product isn't going to tilt the scale a whole lot. Because of the wavelengths that I live on. 
Now, you say that to your average Joe that goes around, you know, being smarter than the Mexican, and he's going to think you're talking out your ass because we've not, as a collective, been taught that these things matter. Going to the moon matters. Knowing who Lee Harvey Oswald matters. Uh, loving Obama matters. But knowing that you're living on the wrong form of energy, that is not good for you to know. What do you think about that there, big fella? I think energy is very important in uh, all the ingredients that you add to your body. I mean, uh, what is your body? It's it's built up of uh, uh, these elements that exist in the earth. So when you start altering stuff, take, for instance, uh, um, uh, the uh, hydro, hyd- how do you say that, uh, hydronizing um, vegetable oils, when they, they put hydrogen in, spin it around, break it uh, down, the uh, molecules become much smaller. And that's what you get in a lot of these uh, stabilized products like oil and peanut butter and uh, mayonnaise or Miracle Whip, uh, uh, for instance. Uh, and then uh, and margarine, too. Let's not forget margarine, the very most important thing that has been uh, for so long was re it was introduced as the alternative to butter that butter is bad but it turns out butter is better so uh, where do you go with that why because these uh, smaller molecules then enter into the uh, the arteries and so forth and you know builds up that plaque and uh, the, the condition for for stroke and heart attack um, and then couple that with all the other uh, poisons and and so forth that we're ingesting daily uh, it really makes that uh, that living forever type of thing uh, a lot harder to obtain. But falsely, uh, it also uh, it it uh, feeds a broad-based population, therefore, uh, uh, you know, preventing more uh, you know starvation and so forth like that that would uh, be naturally occurring throughout the world due to the uh, military-industrials complex and the financial and so forth. Uh, policies and uh, that sort of thing right right but still i'm i try to take make it the, as simply explained as i can to the you know to just the basic level because the details will they don't interest too many people in the first place we're not a detail oriented group at the real liberty media.com some people are but most of them not so much i don't think or whatever you're interested in or interested in might be something you'd look at in detail, but for the most of us, we're general. Look at it, give it a you know, give it a blank, go to the next thing. Nothing. There's nothing to teach the RLM crew. You know, we're all no, we're all, not. yeah. No matter where you're standing on the coin, if you're against it, if you're for it, if you're <laughs> Democrat or Republican, non-voter, it doesn't fucking matter. You're not changing anything from this point on. So, what is the point of what we do well for me uh i don't try to teach anybody what to think uh i i try to make example of uh of a, a way to think a how to think and, and i do that by uh considering other perspectives i i can't just sit there uh high on my tower uh without actually uh going and for exploration you know we have pathfinders like uh hal anthony yay cal right here behind the woodshed Here's another commercial for you, uh, Rob Works. Sundays at noon o'clock on the left coast, Hal and Anthony behind the woodshed. Three hours before that, Gramner's got some blues, and we're playing trivia. And if you'll come right on over here to reallibertymedia.com forward slash channels forward slash chat page one dot php, there's your address. Or just uh, look yeah. for Real Liberty Media, Grim RLM Moose Radio. And, Grim Moose and Cakes. Uh, okay. Grim Moose and Kate will beat anybody's ass. They're not. They're not fussy. They're fast typers. They'll get you every time. But yeah, still, I've got a lag. So you know, and I don't play all the time. But, but it's uh, fun. We, but it's, we, yeah, it's we got some pretty good players that have uh, got we a need, massed. Uh, yeah, we need yeah, a, a dork version of trivia so that the dorks can play. I don't know. Maybe we could. Uh, or people with slower I, computers. <laughs> we could handicap fun. them. That was a joke. Yeah. Say what you said. What's your joke? I said, I don't know. I was yelling <laughs> nonsense at the... Uh, I was still thinking about the staying young is unnatural for 
to in my mind. Uh, and anything that the system pushes on me over my life, I've always felt that that friction and wanted to get away from it. So, be you know, staying young is not a good thing. It it it's pitched about how things appear, but not how they truly are. You know what I mean? Because time's going to tear down everybody. You're going to eventually, if you live long enough, if you are pretty, you're going to outlive your pretty. And someday <laughs> you're just going to be a bag of old wrinkly bones that somebody's, you know, wiping the drool off of in a chair. And that's not so bad. But it sure is uh, avoided. You know, people don't talk about it. What are you going to do like- when you're old, man? Would you... Uh- like to live forever if you could no oh fuck no uh-uh. really well, in Absolutely a perfect world fucking not no such in a thing. perfect world if if it existed what if well, one day what if one day there yeah. could the world could exist in perfect harmony my requirements no are murder me. my requirements death, are sickness. not impossible but they will not be met because the foundation will you can't get people to do it And that's just the way it is. I figured this here game out. It's all based on dishonesty. You don't think given enough time that the totality of people could eventually come to the idea that uh, what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. And uh, no, and and remove Mm -hmm. if especially you got to consider how we're uh, so controlled by all the conditioning and, you know, the That's propaganda. the problem. You got all so, these indoctrinations. So, Who's so, going to get yeah, past that? So, so, please. So, eventually, so, 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 look, so, so. wait a minute. Well, now, eventually, I mean, we have all this at our hands right here, all this uh, technology now where the, you can't put the internet back into the box, right? Once that's, it's been cast. Now they're trying to control that. And, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, okay. Mike I cut holes in it. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, just with that, just on that simple premise right there, uh, and thinking forward in um, the totality of uh, where we're able to connect now worldwide in real time, uh, and we're seeing more and more how we're alike. We're seeing more and more how the system is used to control us and uh, keep us at odds. So, you know, the only way government exists now, uh, I don't know if a goober did you tune in yet? Uh, we was talking about the report from Iron Mountain the other day. Uh, I think I read it about 1993 or something like that, somewhere in the early 90s. Uh, it's a think tank report. So right. it was it, it, on the, the – the, what was it? The possibilities and desirability of peace and then uh, alternatives to, uh, to control uh, during time of peace. So then that, from that came up uh, out of uh, – like with Johnson and the war on poverty, and then you get on, you know, into the war on drugs and all so forth that we have today, which is uh, really brutal uh, oppression. Uh, even the idea, yeah, of, d- disguised, um, uh, disguised as good for you, and hey, we're yeah. here to help, and they're just fucking lying right to your face. Everybody knows they're lying to their face, but who has the balls to stand up against that fucking killing machine? I don't. I'm glad I got out of there freaking hell at this age i'd hate to be having to deal with the police now being as i haven't had to since the late 90s to wake up in america at my age and have to start arguing with stupid young 20 year old cops fuck that <coughs> excuse me that well, would be like hell. Hal, Hal talks about it's how how to stand in the uh there make a stand and uh, not be ran over not be devoured um how there is not uh, being. How about not being harassed by those fuckers at all? And the only way I could do that is to get out. It's coming. Well, I, I, it's coming. I, you you oh. cannot evade it. If you, if I travel. I well, not now, but when I was younger, I traveled there. I went where I wanted, did what I wanted to do, and as my as the years went by, the net started to tighten about, oh, they're checking this and they're pulling people over for that. And I lived out near a military base. So they're, you know, what the hell did they have to, to check there for? It was insane. It was just control, control, control. So to live in that now at this age, I'd be like nuts. Well, I went, uh, I've been back, back home for a little while, but I, I did travel and, uh, I went uh, not not to the the depths and 
as far as the despair of people being homeless on the streets, but I did, you know, live, uh, uh, well, really on faith is the best way. I just, uh, you know, in my, my prayer, I asked God to, to prepare my path for me. And, and I just found that, that, and going back to that, that vibration, that harmony and stuff, the, um, how you, how you step really determines, you know, where you're going. So, uh, mm. you want to step proper, you want to step right. Mm. And my encounters with the, uh, uh, the authorities, uh, throughout that trip, but uh, it most, uh, specifically in Vegas and then in, uh, Denver, when I went up to, uh, Bruce Doucette's trial, uh, you know, it's really touch and go and you, you can't put yourself there like those people that were in court, like Bruce Doucette and those people they charged and put in prison for the rest of their life for attempting to fight this uh, system of government, the system of oppression, uh, the occupation that we're under. So there are rules, as Hal talks about, there are rules of conduct for them. And when the individual uh, within these ent entities uh, are, uh, you know, not acting within their bounds, that's, that's the first point of capture, at least to... Uh, uh, you know, co confront it as a in the individual and bring them to accountability. Look, uh, they, you know, they need you a can coordinated, it, ah, bullshit. They need a coordinated fucking group of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands to hit them all at one time. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what we're doing is just, we're just a gathering, Vince. I mean, we're, like I was saying, we're not entertaining any fucking buddy that listens to us with anything more than what they already know. And out of that, they either agree with it or they discard it and they think this is a joke. Either way, we're not giving anybody nothing more than a, a, a moment of giggle. Don't get too carried away with yourself. This is the dork table. Well, this listen, this I, I got to tell gander. you. What? Now, what? 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 Uh, Juan Taco, he shares a lot of First Amendment uh, area. Oh, you want to uh, gossip uh, about the I mean, members uh, area. of the RLN? No. Okay. Yes, I want mean, to talk to Sherry's links uh, yeah. for the uh, First Amendment videos. Okay. And I uh, made comment uh, just the other day that uh, more and more people are doing this. And, and by doing so, see, now I was I was filming cops outside the uh, Greyhound in Vegas when I bought my ticket uh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. before coming home. I bought it in advance. <laughs> so then I hung out you know, on the streets of Vegas that night. Uh, quite an adventure. That was a long tail, but, uh, you've been through that. Uh, they story saw me, already, they, yeah, they saw me filming them. And so they stayed more on their P's and Q's. And as Juan Taco said, with more and more people doing that, it is making a difference. So yeah, we are and can in effect, uh, okay. True. Keep the change and make True. change. True. But and can, as far as, I, wait a minute, now the, the ponder boy, gander, the dork table, I, three, I can be a dork. That's it. What we got to define dork again. Remember, let's, let's just, just hit dot G and dork. <laughs> yeah, you're a dork. Don't worry about it. But yeah, this is, I don't ever want this to be all serious. And you got to see it like I, this. You know, this, this is just me and some other people, you know, spewing our side of what we see and how we see it. Yeah, um, you've got to take a well, ponder again. Right, That's now, not just some title well, of mine. It's I want to go back to Graham Z. She says, wait a minute, maybe that's what hell is when you said about a perfect world. But with my three-step plan to unfuck up the planet, a, a perfect world would start the minute the whole plan was initiated because you can't – see, people can't be forced into telling the truth. But they can be taught to do so. But they're not. We're as soon as we're old mm -hmm. enough to talk, we're we're encouraged to do things that are really bad for us. And as you get older, you just get used to it. You don't learn that it was wrong until you're an adult. That's probably what adult is, is to see the mistakes of your youth and to change it. Well, that system's all fucking wonderful, but it doesn't work. It's failed because it breeds corruption and thieves. Well, you can't go take a magic carpet ride and go wait, wait, to wait, the magic right. place you're, that you want not, from where okay, we're at. You're, you're not understanding my principle then. If you base your fucking reality on truth and not bullshit like we do with the sources of energy, I think, sweetie, money, whatever game you're in, it, it's a synthetic of something that's uh 
the original is 10 times better and you would only need one. But what we're getting is something that needs to be replaced over and over and over because it's made out of crap first and foremost, so that some rich prick somewhere can earn more money off the population. And this is an acceptable fucking, this is how people, they line up to live this way. And I think it's insane. So I had to get out of that shit. Okay, so you've basically, you've started with your grammar here. Uh, My grammar. The who, what. Yeah, where and when, mm. and then so we go to the why. But uh, oh, it, moving on. Not yeah, circum- moving on. The why to, is to the rhetoric. Yeah, we understand how it all works. Yeah, circ. But what do you do about changing that? You can't. I there's don't no magic. Want to change yeah. that? That is there's the not, magic. There's not an easily button for that. <laughs> Good move. <laughs> oh, that was I. Whoa. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Hans Easley, you traitor. Um, what did he do? I don't know. We'll think of something. A stupid, inept, or foolish person. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I, mean, that, I don't like those definitions. There's a better but, one, and now yeah, where is it at? It's what still, did we uh, have the uh, other day? But the point is behind the definition is where people that are cast out and accused of not a lot of nonsense because we don't fit the mold. The mold we are not fitting does not work. And it's not a permanent thing. It's it's certain things. Not everything. Hey, uh, it's so, like awkwardness. Like my, my awkwardness in society because of my appearance and my lack of interest in pursuing the golden egg. Kind of people don't understand why I didn't do certain things with my life. Most of them are dead now. But the ones that are still alive don't want to talk to me. So, but I did what I wanted to do instead of what I was told to do or expected you, to do. Can you sing uh, Frank Sinatra, I did it my way. No, I just in the key of C. No, see, I just did it my way. <sighs> wow, it's so it, it it's something that's hard to explain to other people. I give it. You're give hard it that you're you're hard to explain to other people. There it is. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Grimner. Someone There's... who has odd interests and is often silly at times. Yeah, yeah. A dork is also someone. Who can be themselves and not care what anyone thinks. Thank yeah. you, Urban uh, Dictionary. Mm. Udi, so, da, Udi, dork. You dork, can, dork, you dork, can dork, teach dork, a, dork, a dork, 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 dork. A human dork. being to do anything that you invest a little time into teaching that human being to do. Anything that you can do, you can teach the I, other one to do. All you need, somebody. all you need from the other person you want to teach is their interest, and uh, then some time practicing, and they'll learn anything. How do you get their interest? That is an individual thing. It depends on the person. So it takes a so, lot of people with a lot of different interests. True, but there, that so how do you go about? How do you go about uh, uh, a purview of that? How do you get out and take a look and try to gather it all together? and uh, really determine what matters. I went out with the idea in my head, I will not treat anyone else in a way that if they treat me that way, I'm going to bust them in the skull. So I'm not going insti- to I'm not going to instigate it. I'll never be the one that sits and in, walks into the room and does something to irritate or threaten the existing group. And that works out. That's all I had what to do. What if her- uh, what if it? What if it was a gang of thugs? Uh, they amassed outside of town and had uh, the intent of coming to uh, rape, pillage, and plunder. Mm. How then? I I think the bikers that uh, live around the the surrounding area that we are in have all that under control. Oh, and I hadn't heard a fire alarm. I was bragging about this, and a couple months back, maybe two months ago, uh, fire alarm. 
finally heard one in the daytime going to the grocery. So Never bikers or cops? They're like cops there or what? They're the secret police? They're, they're pres. No, within their own. This is my my version of looking onto it. Oh, I, you're saying the bikers are uh, the boogeyman. Um, there's an awful big lack of physical police presence where I live. Yeah. So, and there's a, there, I've seen more bikers than I have cops in for here about four years now. So this is my American thinking taken over. And you don't have, a, why would you have them there? And people behave real nice. And they got a lot of men and women my age that will parade downtown uh, during the summertime on a Sunday and ride right down the middle of town in form, paired up on their Harleys. <laughs> so there's there's more to it than I can really explain about it. The Danes are not a, a warlike people in in the sense of uh, community. They take care of their shit. So the bikers are Danes? They're Dane bikers? Oh, yeah, sure. They don't have, like, foreigners involved with them? In <laughs> what way would they? How would you get? How would you be able to pull that off? Let's see. I'm going to go to Denmark to be a, a Hell's Angel or a Bandito. Uh, no. <laughs> so they're not, I, like... I don't These think that bikers would work. Aren't, they're not like thugs. They don't like live no, 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 no. on the road like Mad Max and like no, brawl them, brawl them, no, them, no, 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 running no. through towns. No, same bike, Stop same patch, people. but the social behavior. Uh, no, the, they go home and uh, sleep in a three bedroom, two baths, and work at Nikea. Probably, yeah, yeah. or and across some, the border at the, some of the, older, the Russian the older, power like plant. It, and like in the States, a lot of the older ones just put on a suit and went to work for corporate. Wrote on so the why did you say bikers then when I asked you how, how would you talk to a group of uh, individuals amassed at your border? Because it wouldn't they... happen here. I think the bikers would break that up before anything could po possibly happen. There's by only what, so By what there's, means or authority? There's all, there's all, fuck, they, there, they would like, do they have an alarm that's, you know... Calling all I would bikers. Assume, yeah, yeah. I would assume that they're connected enough that there's some kind of watch or uh, something. And there's never. I've never been. I've never hear anything that go, goes on bad around here. It's it's unbelievable. So are you just uh, making an assumption, or do you know something like there's the unspoken? Hey, the okay. bikers when are lived, like uh, when I, when here I to mediate. In, when I lived in Copenhagen, there was uh, Hell's Angels about. What, three blocks from where we lived in Nobel? About three blocks away, and the, the Hell's Angels, the part of the city where they lived and had all the businesses and whatnot, everybody knew it. So I'm telling you from living here and looking around and listening to my wife tell me what the fuck that is so I don't go do something stupid I didn't know about. You know, don't do this in the biker's territory, Lou. It's not a smart thing to do. Because oh, really? I'm the type that don't give a fuck about shit like that. I don't give a fuck. I got no problem with anybody. So I'm kind of free. And uh, even <laughs> my wife was warning me, yeah, well, kind of mellow out a little bit around the Hells Angels. Went, okay, honey, I'll do that. So it's it's not so much my mind running wild. The banditos are huge in this part of the world. So they got so, banditos and Hells Angels? <laughs> Yeah, and other clubs, and they have I, uh, affiliation with the the American uh, branches. Uh, I, I guess see, down I, in Australia, I, I wouldn't know. Is Circle leaving? No, Circle's sitting over on. The, what are you doing, sweetie? Are you making your dog? She's yeah, she's making a little dog with teeth and everything. It's funny. <laughs> I have her put a picture up on the R R L M for you. Yeah, when she's done. The R L M O. Yeah, probably over there. Uh -huh. She has a page of shit that you know for the happy side of life, so she might put it up over on her on her page. I'll let you know. But okay. uh, no, she's just sitting over there doing her thing while I garbage with you, Vincent. <laughs> I'm laughing at Dark Tex. He says bikers in Denmark are really mopeders in behavior and attitude and style. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't want to stop one of them and ask him to you know. 
stand on the sidewalk and tell them that. So if there was like a um, somebody getting mugged, all the uh, the Denmarkian bikers would like show up and go, "Hey, buddy, you better stop that." Okay. See now, see there you go. There's another. There's another thing. That's a media driven concept and where we live i don't know violence there's the, the median age around here i think it's probably about 40 it's late 30s probably it's a like it's like a retirement village okay now what if you had a mind. really really tough denmarkian biker that just walked up and slapped you in the mouth what would you do people are not like that here i'm just saying what if what if it well, could happen if, it could okay. happen i'm trying to oh, find it could i'm trying happen. to seek some kind of idea how this utopian uh, it, it could idea happen exists. where I'm from. I don't see it happening here. I've been here for well, a long time. The older you get here, the maybe. nicer. Let me fucking finish a sentence, you <laughs> monkey. The nicer the people 24. around you behave. <laughs> And so instead well, I'll of tell the, you what, buddy, if I was uh, over, I'd just slapped you in the mouth and then I'd ask you again. <laughs> 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 what are you going to know about it, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> You're killing me, Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> Why are wow. you talking smack? Uh -huh. Be well, yeah, because it, that's the lack of the lack of American in these people is obvious to me. Quick trying I, to I, blame it on America. Telling you, man, I've lived in yeah, other writer. countries. America is so angry. It's hard. It's unique. You gotta, you gotta be from there and move out we of are, there. We are not unique in that. Oh yeah, you are. To me, Look you are because you're my yeah. people. The the other parts. There's other parts of the world that are so neutered that uh, the expression uh, probably doesn't exist as uh, you know as great as it does maybe here in America, but. Um, I yeah, think the, it's, I it's think not the a it, it's not a unique uh, trait or a trait uh, that that is only American. Uh, yeah. If we if we no, destroyed yeah. America, would no. the rest of the world be great and glory? No. Uh, no. There's there's it's a larger than life thing, the America thing, because Denmark's just a little. You got thirty like thirty seven states with a population bigger than this whole country. So America is huge beyond – if you live in it, you really don't see it this way. If you live you know outside you, of it and look on, it looks different. Well, let's look at it this way. What do you get when you neuter a uh, Harley Davidson? A, mo <laughs> a moped. So a moped. Let, let's, make, let's make that the example. So we're looking at – uh, a neutered Harley, in the case of Denmark. Well, you you can laugh People. all you like. I'll tell you what. Open up, open up the Banditos and look for the chapter in in, uh, in chapters in Denmark and see. And I think they got pictures. And some of these guys are bigger than you, sport. I mean, make you look tiny. And some of them are are just a little bigger than me. So it's not about the violence and the thing. It's about the uh, the community. These guys are without the violence, and whatever they do for money isn't got nothing to do with the point. They exist. There's a lack of police. So, my do mind they have tells, guns? Do they got billy clubs? What I, the? it says, twelve percent of the population of Denmark has guns. So you figure it out. How many? Twelve percent. That's quite a bit, ain't it? I don't know. I think America's like a lot higher now, like three times higher. It might be they they say on paper, you know. Rob 12%. knows, but it's, they're saying th that most of the guns are uh, held by just a, a few minority of uh, the total. We, I don't. I live here, and I'm telling you, I see a whole different thing. You just gotta, just like in the states, you just gotta register your shit when you buy it. You buy it from a particular store. <laughs> then on the other side of the fucking coin. If I wanted to buy a left nostril inhaler that glows in the dark and plays Whistle Dixie while it licks itself, I could find one. <laughs> there you go. You're hired! <laughs> Pro propensity oh, oh, for sorry. violence. Yes, you know, that, well, that no. trait. Thank you, George. Thank you, Rob, for answering that. 
there's a propensity for fucking profit, Rob Works, and <clears throat> weapons. Weapons are going to sell to people no matter what country in you, that you live in, and no matter what the law says, there's going to be a certain amount of people that buy those things regardless of what the government tells them they can do. And they exist. And some of them don't flaunt their shit out loud. They'll tell you to your face, I don't got any guns. And then you guns. break in their house, and the first thing that happens, you get shot in the foot by a guy that didn't have a gun. That's not very good gun control. Yeah, look. If you shoot him in the foot, come on now. Hey, you don't want to kill anyone. You just want to hurt them so they'll go away. Um, Man. Well, you're you're the maniac. I'm not a maniac. I grew out of my maniac days. I think if, if something like that were to even happen, I don't know. I don't think um, it would. I don't draw it's, that negative. The only thing see, I draw that, negative that's, is that's the, the neutering shit, of America. The shit that comes out of you and Hans, I draw that on the internet, but not in real life. Real life people love me long time. You know, it's made a, it, it's come to a time in America where a person uh, that goes to, to defend themselves might find themselves uh, in prison. Yeah, in America, but not not so much here. I remember when I first moved here with Cirque, she was telling me about a, a drunk guy wandered into somebody else's house drunk and the guy shot him. You remember that story, Cirque? What what happened to the guy that shot him? Nothing. Because what happened? It was an accident. He didn't, you know, it was no intention. So the Danes are smaller. It's, they're more than well, likely going to. A guy breaks in his other. house and he, and he accidentally shoots the guy that broke well, into his house? The guy drunk comes in his house and he didn't know. So he shot whoever he was. And He did it on purpose. How? He shot he him. Was, it wasn't an accident that hey, he shot him, oh, right? Fuck, now you sound like one of those gun lovers. Don't start playing stupid, Vinny. No, no, no. You said something, and I need it clarified. You said it was an accident. Hey, so, how is it well, an accident? That's how I look at Don't give me your shit with your fucking detail-y bullshit. You know what the point is. At no, I don't. Grow I'm up! Right, I don't. You Be, said it was an but, accident. It can't. You can't accidentally shoot somebody that breaks in your house. I mean... Yeah, obviously All right. Well, him it was the product purpose. of a misinformed fucking decision. How's that, you layman? You okay, want to be that. all specific and get more wordy ah. with me, Mister Dork? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Does that work better for you? A little you bit. Know, he he made a decision to protect himself. He heard a bad thing, whatever startled him in his sleep, and here comes this drunk guy coming into his house. And before he could think clearly, he shot, fired. Fuck, what would you do? That's one reason I try to avoid weapons. So I what had, you're actually saying then is yeah. he didn't realize the guy was drunk and that made it an accident. That to me, that, that wow, that's just a misinformed, oh crap, I heard a noise, I'll get my gun and protect myself and whoa, shit happens. That is, in my mind, an accident. He made Did a he decision that fucked up. Did he kill him, sir? Or was, it, was he just shot? No, he just shot him. Oh, like in the foot? I don't know. Like my story about in the foot. Shot in the foot. We'll hashtag that. But I come from the land of leave no witnesses. Oh, I like that. I studied under the great Bill Clinton in the 1990s. I could have been an evil genius had I set forth in a uh, political path, perhaps. Maybe the mayor of Los Angeles. Who knew? <laughs> you are. I, I don't. I don't think I'm devious. I'm a devious old man. I'm not devious enough to to do what pol politicians do. You are the and, Batman. And and if they're actually out there doing it and have any any fantasy in their mind that they're helping anybody, they don't belong there because that's just insane to go into the public arena thinking you're going to help somebody. How? Off your eighty thousand dollar freaking salary for paperwork, <laughs> you're gonna teach people how to write. <laughs> what would you write? You're doing I'd some write, writing. You're making blogs the over there. Fuck out of here! Oh, I wrote about water the other day. 
You uh-huh. you could read it. it I don't know. Well, it kind of slapped in the face. I was kind of angry that day. But, yeah, I was writing about um, they poisoned the water, you know. The system. Hold, hold on. I'll be right back. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. We got two minutes to prepare for a 420 uh, report. The 420 report. But, yeah, they poisoned the fucking water and um, the food supply on us. And, but it's all within the, the confines of the law. Well, hey, wait a minute. And they make these things sound like they're unavoidable. No, they're they're done to us on purpose in small enough doses that they can do it, make money off this cheap crap, and we just never get any better. And then the offspring. I saw a few of those winners coming from the think tanks of America. Boy, your university students look like a bunch of retards to me. I'm glad I'm not there. But then again, it could be me. I could be all insane like that, thinking that there's like 47 genders. and I need a safe zone. Oh, I need a blanket and some chicken. What else would I need? If we hear a noise here in the country, we just turn on the floodlight, says Mr. Dork Cakes. Yeah, well, actually, see, city living, man, it. It's all a matter of how you accept what your surroundings are. Some people are are afraid. And if you're afraid of your neighbor or other people, you're going to probably be dependent on a weapon to defend yourself. Because somebody's going to... Shut up. Somebody's going to come and get my shit. It is now 420. 420! uh, Salutes go out around the world from the American Ozarks. Right here. Do, 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 do. In good old US of A. Salute. You're welcome. Smoke them anyway. if you got them. Yeah, well, Pancakes was just talking about putting up floodlights. and You know, yeah, Cirque says hello. Pancakes. Hello, Circles. <laughs> Have you ever heard a, a Manhattan Echo? I heard a Mad Hatter. No, no, no. Manhattan, Manhattan in New York City. Yeah. Yeah. There's a there's a certain echo, and it's called the the Manhattan Echo. You, you ever hear it? No, I haven't, but I like here, that. Here, you want me to do it for you? Here, I'll do it for you. You, you still open your third floor window, and you open it real wide, and you lean out that window, and you yell, Hello! And, and then you wait just a little bit longer, and you'll hear off in the background, Shut the fuck up! I have heard, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's rather clever. It still gets you another mark. <laughs> 29. Yeah. 29 thus far. I'll tell you what. If you do this to me, I'm going to write down every time you say the word the. The. That really don't count. What is See, the, wow. What what, what is that? that? Is that really a uh, don't count? What what Ooh. part of grammar? Uh, the uh, definition of what that plays like an adjective. Try uh, try not uh, using it at all. Uh, yeah. What is what yeah. is I, pff, man? Yeah. I, I started doing some study and I've left off. I need to get really back into a. Uh, um, try not schedule. using the word the at all and see how far it's you in, can go with it. It's impossible. Huh? 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 See what impossible. I mean? Impossible. And you make a big deal of it. It's an actual, it is an actual three letter word that exists within the constructs of uh, the English or American language. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Google didn't give me a good one. Let's try UD. I use enough slang to bar me in 13 states from running for public office. And you know what? I really think is really a great advantage. Uh. That's not all right either. What? That's nasty. What? Uh-oh. You're Who putting calling? the... He's putting Who the dirty... <laughs> Manhattan <Echo>. place called <laughs> <the food. laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Vinny. <laughs> okay. Uh, for all you crazy people out there that play Call of Duty, now we know why you like to play Call of Duty. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Hello, circles. Dirt kick, the kick says hi. Yeah, but you know, I tried to tell you earlier. Now, when some big shot and some big oopity hoop 
uh, corporation gets his panties in a twist. You know what they do now? They have automatic panty twisters. No, nah, they, they they go pay somebody to have a memory that's 40 years old about somebody groping them under the couch. Or maybe yeah, under you the You know that, that Kavanaugh, that Kavanaugh thing? Yeah. First of all, man, uh, he's if that's the best they can come up, they got to go back to when he's a teenager. You know this guy, he just must be good at getting away with other stuff. I don't know, but... Uh, right, if it's that, that old, but yeah, that, yeah they're, they're that's hoping a, that this this will open the door for new people to come forward. You know, so it'll pile on him. Mm-hmm. It's the game they come on. How many times have we seen this one? This mm-hmm. is like a fucking rerun. the The politics is old, people. If you're still playing the politics game and you don't recognize the episode you're watching, you should probably not be voting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're not helping nothing. Isn't it if sad? If you want to help, yeah. well, to me, very sad. To them, I'm the one that is sad. They say, well, if you do not vote, you've got no room to complain. And I say to them, no, you're the one that votes. You have no right to complain. That's. Right. I didn't want this it's stuff going. from the start. No, let me go. Leave me alone. But you know what? In the long run, <sighs> They own my paperwork. What am I well, going to do? What vote, is a dork for, to vote do, for sir? for the lesser of the two evils, please. Oh, fuck you and your fuck you and your freaking lesser of two evils hole. That's a that's a double shot right there. That's right. Don't get me mad. I know some lawyers. <laughs> what would they tell you? Oh man, probably shred you. Tear you to shreds. So Turn how about on Vincent and say all kinds of horrible, terrible things so people won't like him no more. And that's what that's I. That's what people. Uh, yeah. That's what people yeah. do. If They're, I was a paid propagandist, I would. Well, but I'm not. This is just me and my off time having a giggle on the internet webs with my pal Vincent. And if you take it too seriously, I think you need probably need medication. Either medication or a $5 hooker and a joint. And believe you know me, what? I've seen videos out there about, hey, $5 and you can buy the state of Texas. Oh, never mind. You, well, know, that, you know what I didn't actually do that I should have? No, what did you forget to do? Did you forget <laughs> to light the pipe again? No, check the chat. Oh, check the chat. Mr. Cakes is in the chat. Oh, Mr. Cakes says, hey, sir. And Mr. Cakes Circle says, "Hey, she's not on the um, she's not on the online. She's over there knitting her dog or uh, crocheting her dog with the big knitting. eyes. She, crocheting. I say it wrong all the time. Fitty fake spear. There you go. There. Holy shit! Here comes somebody with a bow and arrow. You know, I go, asked this. Hey, question. open the door. Uh, I asked this question." Done. On a dork table a long time ago, and a, and a guy hey, really. Hey, hold on. Listen, I, I'm going to hand you the mic here. I'll be back. Okay, I'll set it up for the story. Anyway, I've asked this question of people over my lifetime. And as I get older, I see the ridiculousness of the answer of it, but they still like to tell the story. And it goes like this You're driving home from work, you're on a quiet road, you see a box on the side of the road, you stop nobody's around you look in the box packed full of money packed full of hundred dollar bills big bundles of them you put it in your car you take it home you found it you count it blah 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 there's a million dollars in hundred dollar bills what in the hell are you going to do with it it's actually in the long run you can't do anything with it and you think you could but what and people out there in Dorkland. Oh, we have Miss Kate and Gooberzilla, Mr. Cakes. I well, I challenge you. If you found that kind of money, what in the world could you buy with it? That how how would you do it? If you go anywhere with more than ten thousand dollars in cash, the IRS is into. You know, they want to know where the money came from. So how you could never spend it you'd have all this cash and you'd be par- t- paranoid and terrified somebody's going to take it from you or find out you have it so you have to hide that it's just uh 
it's really a hole that, that, that you get dug into, but we've been pitched it as, well, look at all the things you could do if you had a million dollars. No, the truth is you go into a million dollars worth of debt. See, that's what the reality of it is. So I look at people like this George Soros guy. Okay, he does a lot of political crap. Of course, this is what the internet and the newspapers are telling me. So, one more time, I don't know if any of this shit's real or not. It's just words and pictures and stories. But they say he's got $80 billion to himself. And I think to myself, wow, he's got $80 billion and he doesn't do anything that's good for anyone but him. And his little inner, inner circle of other greedy slobs that don't want to work or contribute or whatever you want to call that crap that we do. And I think, geez, if I woke up in the morning related to those people and had all that, I wonder, I'd probably be a um, self-centered prick that expected the world to do what I wanted it to do all the time. Kind of like I am now, just on a bigger scale. You know, of millions of libtards getting a text message from Trump, says Gooberzilla. Wow. See, playing all that, playing all those political games, you know, re, uh, Republican and Democrat, it's the same thing. In fact, well, all this crap about slavery, that's a bunch of bullshit, but they said when when they freed the slaves and they didn't free the slaves they just broadened the, the definition of slave so it fit all of us yeah so yeah you can call it they freed the the slave well then how come we're slaves if they freed anybody where are all the free people i i don't know any of them i wanted to be one then i went and met Cirque and well so much for freedom. <laughs> right? right, honey? <laughs> well, you can't be married and free at the same time. That's an oxymoron. Please. Mm. Mm. Well, my good buddy Vincent bailed off on to uh, go somewhere. Anyway, ah, here's something to think about, too. is if you If you're a fan of education... I personally think that the idea of selling knowledge is beyond ridiculous. Selling knowledge. We have special books, and if you go to the special room and wear the special garb and read from the special book, you will be enlightened. So, here we go. Maybe all that horseshit's true, and they are a fucking cult. And if you go to college, you join that fucking group of goddamn weirdos, and you start sitting around in your black robe at night with your dead skull. But you get to eat better, and they give you some slaves to be in charge of, so you think you're something special. But I don't know. That's just the way it looks. It's like, uh, what would be a good example? A line foreman on a manufacturing job you know some greasy shit bucket he's not smart enough to be anyone but he's big enough of a bully to to bark at people when they get out of pocket so they make him the line foreman and they give him responsibility and with that responsibility he doesn't have to do anything and i think what happens to people is they get bored you know, then they start looking for things to do. And when you get in that, that particular mindset, you're not looking for a positive. You're looking for something interesting or maybe colorful, <laughs> maybe exciting. Maybe deep down you're a racist and you don't like the guy down there. So you're going to do some stuff to start trouble. Yeah, these two kind of things happen. And what then what happens is two guys are having a problem and a third person butts in and makes it 15 times worse than it would have been if you'd have just let the two punch each other once. You know, but for the better of everybody, now they're going to have, hey, I'm on his side. <laughs> and and then it grows. So, hey, I figured let's go back to dueling. <laughs> Can you imagine that? If 
instead of, hey, you ripped me off, it's, hey, I challenge you to a duel. You've got four hours to prepare yourself or apologize or pay me what you owe me or whatever the, the infraction is. That infraction is met with the challenge of a fucking duel. I bet people would straighten up in about two, three days. After the first three or four duelings, the other guys would go, hey, this shit's real. Look, the, hey, Johnson keeps winning. <laughs> Let's not piss Johnson off, man. I think if you steal from him, he'll shoot you. And that's how things really should be. But no mother state. She opened up her breast and went, hey, come here. I got the boob. Mm -hmm. And there you go. People would rather suck on the tit of Mother State than fight a duel to protect their honor. And I think they're a bunch of pussies. I don't even want to own a gun, but if dueling was legal, I'd probably do that. Wonder what it would take to get me pissed off. Hey, you stole my money. Aha! Slap of the gauntlet across your cheek. Then I got to go oil my gun because in uh, four hours I'm going to have to try to shoot this guy for stealing my money. <laughs> now, of course, that is a result of the way the life I've lived has gotten. But what Vince, he, Vince was calling, he goes, or Vince, who was it that said the perfect life? I think it was Rob Oryx, maybe. Yeah, it was a ways back on the earlier on the, on the podcast. Um. Uh, Hey, Vincent. Hey. Bye. I was stalling with all kinds of nonsense <laughs> and stuff. Where'd you go? Did you have to pee on the birds again? Oh, no. I, uh, you just heard of the deer hunter. Oh, yeah. You know about Arkansas. You know about being in the hills and uh, bows and arrows and rivers. Glug, 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 glug. Deer. Yeah. Well, first day, first deer, deer, first day of deer season, bow season opened today. Hmm. Yeah. You, you know what? You know what people what? can't figure out about the game that we play. What game will we play? Society. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? Because Tell depending me. on depending on how intricate the details are to you, you look at society and you see how it ended up the way it did, and I think. The money was a tool to manufacture and 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 educate people to the point we're at now. Money, absolutely, but even just mm -hmm. consider where the creation of money came from. Right, right. It's, but uh, the act yeah, of deposits the, that was you know, no, don't even go to the details of it, but it was the act of creating the money that made the rest of this control shit for them possible. If that the doorway was the illusion of freedom through commerce. You remember in the 70s when uh, Nixon, he uh, opened, uh, reopened and reestablished uh, um, relations and connections with China. Yes, I do. Re I actually, I, I remember the incident. Yes. Why? Now, well, I don't think so that's now, a great idea. Now we see, what do we see today? We have uh, the Chinese that have uh, invested heavily uh, into the uh, Federal Reserve note. You know, they buy the, uh, well, they buy <laughs> yeah, on debt. Yeah, the debt, exactly. They buy the debt. And, you know, through that, that part of that deal was uh, a, a, an agreement, right? Just like where you find those in opposition to that, that agreement to use the petrodollar, then uh, uh, boom, that big bye-bye, uh, right? Mm -hmm. then. The petrodollar is getting s destroyed. No matter, they all... They'll have something to replace it with. And that's already established. And, and it'll just be another of the same trick. Right. So the, the problem that we have is that the public, John, John Average out there, <coughs> supports the very shit that we do as a collective <coughs> that is the absolute fucking worst for us. Did you see the, uh, the meme there? What are we going to uh, do? Did you what see the meme do? there? Uh -uh. Vote. No. Vote harder. Did you see the meme I put over there at uh, realliberty.org? Uh, it was uh, I copied it from uh, from Twitter from Ron Paul. Nah, I was busy with doing something else while you were gone. I wasn't surfing the net, you dork. 
Wow. Look here. Do you think? Watch. I think I'm like Watch. a super hacker or something. I got special powers. I can turn the Watch. damn thing on and off. That's about it. Okay, watch one. Okay, There's the right there IRS. Chat, you see? Yeah, the IRS. Yeah. Wait a minute. Okay, wait. Let me spell it for you differently. Okay. There's. Oh, yeah, do that's I, all. Do I need okay. to add an apostrophe in there? Oh, yeah, but that's There's. all clever. Yeah, but see, they got you in the that's details fun. because look, it's hey. fun. It's a meme. Meme. I call right. it. Right. You call it. You call it a meme. But these call? IRS hey. folk trick you, call you with, with the details. What do you what call, I call what? A meme or a meme? Po I don't. I don't talk like that. What? What do you? How do you? Who the hell you think you're people? talking to, Hans Dietrich? You bug? Yeah. Well, come on, my bad, bad. What? If you're gonna say, "Hey, look at this uh, meme," that's what I would say. I what would you say? No. How would you? You don't have a word for your mouth. No. Do you think that's a problem? You've listened to how now to have the proper 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 and say it right. The proper well, words in your mouth. Yeah, but see, I I don't subscribe to how I I what? like how. You I can get to subscribe. I, RSS, I'm not, RS or whatever that is. Well, shut up and I'll tell you, you moron. I, I'm not that. a statist. I'm not a statist in any You're trying to fashion. state. You're stating something right now when you stated that. Make okay. You, you, Therefore, you, a statist. You, yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I'm not. Or, I don't, I don't play the status? traditional. Nah. Nah, please. Say it how you like, Vincenzo, but I'm still not going to. Yeah, I'm not going to willingly do any of that shit. Do what? Uh, it's good of what, what Hal discusses. The legal interaction. The looking at that fucking thing like it's fucking real is for you grown-ups. Leave me the fuck out of it. This is the dork table. You know, I came to fuck around and have a giggle. Not to solve the fucking problem. Because all of this would go away if people wouldn't lie. All of it. Rapid fire. Rapid fire. We lie. Yeah, I missed, I missed a few while I was uh, off. Uh, we lie and fuck up the beauty of life because we do not know what we We're are doing. Almost at 40. Uh-oh. Goop's back. Yeah. Do you, do you feel special? How so? In any kind of way. Oh, of course. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> how, how do you feel special? <laughs> Give me an example. I'm, I'm, I'm me. What more do you need? I would expect the same thing out of everybody else, you dorks. What? That say me? you're you. How many, so you how would many say you me, me. You would say me, how me, many, then. How many Vinnies do you think there are? You think like uh, there's like a lot of you, like you're cloned? I, I wanna yeah. watch watch this. Watch. Uh, we'll find it. We'll uh, find out. Uh, 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 let's uh do, one you, of the, do you think like you you're like the clone? Let's right. just put in scene Vinny. Ew. It's going to say you're looking for yourself. I don't know. Wow. Boy, 50, you're one. 59, according to Barman. 59. What are you feeding that your That includes uh, Vinny, Vinny Contrarian, Vinny Slist, or Vinny Slist. Vinny somebody. <laughs> I related to you. Uh, Vinny Fakespeare. Uh, looking for myself, eh? Here I am. Vinny Fakespeare. <laughs> to be or not to be... Uh, me or one of the other mini uh, Vinnies. Wow. That is what, what me, do me, you me, feed me, that me, fucking me, ego? Me, me, I swear. Me, me. me wow. Me, me, me. Me, me, me. I, I see. Me, me. I see. I give. <laughs> oi, please. Wow. You're like a Jew on speed. Say 59. That's the uh, answer to hey, your query. I, I want to know if you got You're something. a query, fella. Hey. Hey. I want to know if you have something, and I need to know it now. And if you have it, I need it. You want to know what it is? What? Huh? huh? What? I got that. It's Arabica coffee. Do you got blind trust? I need some <laughs> right now. I blind trust? Blind no. trust. Trust me and none other. Trust me. 
No, I, I have no blind trust. Absolutely not. You yes, see, and matter of fact, I was outed as being on the uh, fringe of uh, the the whole Bundy affair, the poot, the poots, and the patties. Uh, okay, how do you mean that? Oh, exactly. Be more specific. Be, You're well, I, I yeah, I'd like to. Yeah, I could add to that to say uh, how it was told to me, and I saw. Like, yeah, well, yeah, I never really saw me right there as that, but uh, it's true. Um, and, and that is uh, Mrs. B. Stacy uh, over on the YouTube. I uh, met her there, and they didn't realize it was her. It was really cool. And then it's like, wow, that's your Mrs. B. Stacy. Yeah. But, anyways, um, she said to me that uh, I never tried to, you know, by her observations of me, I never tried to insert myself. And I was on the outside, the fringe, and, you know, observing and not being intrusive uh, and so forth. And I never tried to uh, project myself onto anybody or into any certain thing. And, and that was uh, my very point in Bunkerville in 2014 is I'm not here to join anything. You know, I'm here uh, alone, you know, uh, armed with uh, my voice uh, and my phone. Yeah, did, I, did I hurt your feelings with my jabs? No, not at all. Oh, oh okay. Because uh, you know person, I know the truth. A person like, cannot insult me. I like to tease I, you on the... Okay. I promise you that. You can't yeah. insult me. And you're not, ugly, too. When I say you, I mean anybody can't insult you. Know, <laughs> I'm uninsultable. <laughs> I know. Oh, with a face Let's like that, that, it's amazing you got friends. Let's... Uh, uh, when you were a little boy, your mom had to put a pork chop around your neck so the dog would play with you. I heard all about it. Oh. I, I misspelled it. <laughs> People are mean. I still, I'm going to tell you, Vincent, if you live in the truth, you don't have to worry about nobody doing shit to you. That sucks too but, uh, but there's a thing in life called balance, okay? So that's the way I look at it. Not victimization, but if you did shit, you're going to get shit. Sometimes you get shit when you didn't do shit. And other times you get away with shit that you should have got shit for. <laughs> okay. So I, unassaultable, I already knew it was not a word, but I tried to I was it. on a rant. Come on. Your rant. Oh. Yeah. Unassailable. You didn't like my rant. That was, I thought it was a pretty good play on words. No. Not oh, I have to work so hard here at the work table Not for it. Not liable to doubt, attack, or question. <laughs> Says Vinny yeah, like of the government. Isn't that what the, was the you direction? saying, anyways? What was you talking about? I'm sorry, I wasn't paying any attention. I was over Me there at these but it, isn't <laughs> the gover Isn't the government doing what your this word unassailable defines? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And, and here we are. I, I don't understand. How it gets so much fucking support. And it does. It gets a... The people are blind to the important details. And they seem to see all the headlines. Oh, Trump's cleaning the swamp. They don't even know what cleaning the swamp means. They read cleaning the swamp. They read this crap about the state, deep state, real estate. It's all the same fucking scam. It's got state in it. It's a hustle on your muscle. They're just... You, why they're drilling you like an oil well my friend but wow to support that openly verbally <clears throat> consciously that you're supporting that is in my mind now some form of mental disorder i think i don't think you openly support what's going on i don't think a lot of the people on rlm do either no, I think the but, majority, uh, uh, the majority of the people that have gathered under you know Grimm's watchful eye and shit, and come over here and they post stuff, and we all we all know this stuff already. So there's n not much to teach each other, but the odds of new people coming is so slim because they're so indoctrinated. I think I got down to the grounds of my cowboy coffee. Whoa, maybe that makes a hair grow on your ass. No. Now, you probably got enough hair on your ass to weave a Navajo blanket. I'm not a hairy person. I was just making a joke. Now we're getting personal. 
Um, I, uh, Moose, well, you know what? I really look for the best. I mean, in, in real, in in physical life, but I mean the collective, at how we communicate with each other online, and all this group think and i'm talking about other sites besides real liberty media.com there are other places and some of them it's so overwhelming the prejudice that people hold towards the other side and i i think both sides are equal and there's no way to tell them that they they think if you're not for them you're on the other side over hill, what over the dale, f- over on the other side. Uh, but is that what? not the way? Am, am do I missing something? Do you have sides? Two sides? Yeah, How many sides got, you got? Yeah. What Red if you blue. were a spear? Imagine yourself uh. as a great <laughs> big ball. Is there any well, sides on that? As you traverse the peripheral. <laughs> And not just among that plane there of the mere ball, but expanding yeah. ever outward in yeah. this search, this ponder gander, the yeah. search for what matters worldwide. Worldwide. Where will you well, find yourself? Will you be isolated? Yes. Will you compartmentalize absolutely. yourself into one little piece of spherical point? Yeah. Or you go beyond. Yeah. No, I'm done. I- I'm fine where I'm at. I've seen enough in one man's life. I'm convinced. You don't have to teach me nothing else. I've learned my lesson. Yeah. Spell stupid. I can't. I need a dictionary to spell a word with six letters. Ah. Let's anyway. Let's ask. Let's ask. And Grim uh, Grim says, "I have a watchful eye." Question mark. Well, no, I was just being a smart ass because, you know, you're the you're the poor fucker that gets stuck doing all the shitty jobs on the RLM. You bail all the you know, all the boats, you get your bucket, you go over to the sinking boat, you go, Hey my friend, I've come to help you get out of your problem and you take the water out of the boat. <laughs> but you do it in computer talk. Listen, you go back to uh <laughs> wasn't it uh Huck Finn? Who was that? Was it the girl? Uh, one of the old bad guys there said uh, if she'd poked some more holes in the boat, it'd run out faster than it could run in. And so as uh, they was out there, <laughs> the two bad men were out there in the river uh, sinking. Uh, they had her to thank for uh, having accomplished that chore. And by the way, stupid yeah. spelled with uh, two O's in a pit at the end uh, yeah. <laughs> from the UD uh, Urban Dictionary. Stupid. To the extent that you can't even <laughs> spell the word itself. That's good. <laughs> <I love it. laughs> wow. We're, wow. You know you know it's time for? Uh, no. I think. Howdy doody. Doody. Wait, 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 wait. Howdy doody. Howdy doody? No. Is that no. howdy doody time? No. It's, how, it's howdy no. doody time. Um, no? No. Okay. What time is no. it? It's. Uh, I think it's time for us to do a a dork table announcement that's good for everybody and everything. It's good for the goose. It's good for the gander. There you go. You're welcome, everybody. You heard that here first. I suggest you write it down. It may be important someday. So what do you think of that? Uh, I'll write it down. What What is it I'm writing uh, down? Whatever you Stupid. just said. I wasn't paying attention. I was lighting up my pipe. To celebrate the end of another successful dork table. I'm going to hashtag stupid. Um, hey. Of course, this would be you might want, with your name. Hey, you got, a, you got a good friend that might want to check in the copyright in that word. <laughs> it's already on the UD, man. I'm telling you, man. Some people, they're so predictable. Oh, hey, well. Let's try this just for Moose Girl. Yeah. We're going to hey, go. Hey, Moose Girl. Dot O-D Purdy. Hey, you know how to spell Purdy? Uh, I heard the moose is going to get the traveling machine and go away. Is ha. that so? Yeah, she's, uh, she's getting it together. Travel with, uh, the world. With uh, <laughs> Gooberzilla, and they're building a time machine. A time machine oh. RV. And, yeah, it's wow. going to be a made-for-TV uh, Hollywood movie. Wow. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Moose, this will be on the 11 loose. o'clock news. Squash. Moose and who? Gubrizilla. He's wow. building the time machine and she's building the, they're going to incorporate it into the RV. So, yeah, it's going to be like a, yeah, that uh, made for TV nah, you've Hollywood been, movie. You've been snort, no, you've been snorting the waffle batter again, pal. That is not likely. I, I'm sorry, but I come into the RL and M to read the love chat. I'm no, that ain't going to happen. Well, you, you're taking a hole you cannot get out of, my friend. <laughs> Wait till Moose hears this on the radio show. Are you, you, are you listening, dork. Moosey? Oh, I think so. Well, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> she's she's like, uh oh. She, <laughs> <I think she is>. <laughs> <laughs> maybe she just has. Yeah, to... we're we're really gonna plagiarize the uh, do some paraphrase plagiarism in this too, and so uh, uh, we'll we'll put uh, we'll have to have Ricky Ricardo's voice in there. He'll come in and he say, "Hey, Mousy, are you home?" Very good. No, that's. Oh, 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 oh. oh, Moosey, you've been flying the time machine again by yourself, haven't you? <laughs> you got that. You got that redneck voice going on. No, no, no. That's not way, way off. Anyway, so who's coming on tomorrow on the uh, RL and M Vince? Uh, tomorrow. Thanks everybody yeah. for playing on the <laughs> dork table and. Pancakes. Lucy said that'll never happen. <laughs> well, tomorrow we're gonna be. Uh, we got Big Papa Grimm. That's right. Uh, Big Papa's gonna be blowing some blues over here on Real Liberty Media. Dot com. R L you know, L M R L I R L. Wait. Are you trying to say something? <laughs> oh, only on the dork table. Anyway, yeah. Uh, I'm reading about the 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 love of the R L and M, and she says that will never happen, Vinny Face. Hey, you never know when you start. Hey, when you start playing with time, man, anything can happen. Time. Yeah, I thought it was boobs. Now it's time. Where, where is a, where is a woman's is time at? My side. Yes, honey. Did I yes, miss yes. the part called time? <laughs> time. Yeah. Well, it is time. Tomorrow's the time at uh, <laughs> nine o'clock on the left coast. That is but, 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 uh, but, but, twelve but. p.m. noon okay. uh, Eastern time. <laughs> of the, Trivia. Uh, yeah, trivia starts, and uh, Grimner's going to be playing some uh, some blue music. Some good stuff. Kind of grooving. Can yeah. you groove? Yeah. I listen to it sometimes, too. Yeah. Depends on and if then, we've got movies or not going on. Yeah. 3, 3 p.m. We, Eastern. We'll Hal Anthony. Hal Anthony. Yeah, I like Hal Anthony. noon. O'clock on uh, the left coast. Thanks, dorks. Thanks, uh, everybody. Thank you back very much. Uh, because we do this for the giggles. And to pass off the idea that maybe you don't need somebody else bending you over the table and forcing you to do what they say. Uh, maybe you do, maybe and you don't. I for don't. those of you that are interested, uh, other than the time when I stepped off there for a bit to uh, visit the deer hunter and burn a boat, uh, we, I heard, it, one includes one that I heard from the, was the head phones was laid down. But uh, who can guess how many... Uh, F bombs that were given today uh, by Flash. So the person that uh, comes closest to that number wins a uh, free all expense trade. Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> you were okay. <laughs> wins two. A free wins a free all expense <laughs> trade <laughs> for one day and one night <laughs> in Dorklandia. Dorklandia. Hey. Could be a theme park. We, you know what? I was telling Goober he should apply to Bill Gates for to build a death ray. You know, just make scribble some freaking notes and use some crayons, make a death ray gun, and give it to him. You might get like a million dollars. You don't know. 
tell him that your goal is to create a weapon that will kill everybody on the planet, he'll fund you. Well, the FBI is going to – the first, the FBI is going to come investigate you. But if you oh, didn't do nothing, don't worry. They'll fund you. <laughs> brand new television series starting out called the FBI. Well, they'll be showing you examples of them keeping us safe. Oh, Lord. Very much fun for the person that is not being incarcerated. Yeah. Thanks, and it's, everybody. It's, it's, a, it's a real world. It's called Propagandalandia. Something like that. Thanks a lot and have a good tomorrow. Good, today. good tomorrow. Today.